All right, so creating your first uh, email. Now, I'm not an expert to, when it comes to MailChimp. I use other providers, but they all have the same, the way it works is almost the same. So I see that you were able to create some drafts, which is correct. That's the proper way of doing it. So you will hit create and then it tells you, what do you want to do? You want to do an email, you want to do an ad. So obviously you will select email. And then from here, just give the email a name. Okay, so we're just gonna use, I think you went through this already and this is how you created this. So I'm just gonna follow this. All right, so and then after you select the email, um, it's gonna tell you, you know, what do you wanna do? What do you, how you wanna send this message? So two, obviously we just, we'll select your audience. So you wanna select the butter cheat, butternut cheat, which is all the subscribers. Okay, so then we go save. And then obviously from is gonna say this if you want to edit so it doesn't say butter from um, so you could, we could just do it like this just so it could look nicer um, okay so this is how it's gonna read the from section campaign uh, the subject line obviously you could um, put something like appealing something that's gonna make me want to open this email so something like um, special offer from butternut cheat um, limit. Um, you know you always want to put some type of call to action at the end just to give it some er type of urgency so okay so next is design the con the, the, the template so um, what I did is I was creating one so basically, if you can see that there's different types of layouts, um, this one's pretty easy to modify. Now, if you go to the same uh, save templates, I create. I was starting. I was creating one for you, which is very simple, straightforward. Um, I put your logo, just put a background on there, and it's very easy. Just basically hover your mouse over the boxes, and replace the content. So if you wanted to change this title, you will simply click the um, the pencil. And then from here, um, your your text will go here. You know, I mean, this is very simple, straightforward. I don't think you can mess it up. And then obviously you just hit save and close. And then obviously to replace that picture, um, you'll get you'll go replace. And then either a you could select one from your browser, the one that you already saved, or you go upload one by clicking this upload button. Now it's gonna ask you like, you know, where on your desktop or your hard drive. So we could just select, I'm just gonna select this random one, okay? So, okay, so now it's uploading and then that's the image I want, okay? So now you could just close this and close this now. So now when you go here, you hit replace, you select the image and then you click insert, this button right here, insert. And as you can see, it entered the image. And obviously the start shopping, um, you will change that to uh, visit the blog or click here to read more or read more, you know? And obviously um, you will either A, if you want it to go to your main page, you will select this, or if you want them to come to this specific article, you could just click on something and you copy this URL. This is your URL. So you copy this, go back to your campaign, and then it says, where do you want this? So you want it to the web address, and the web address are here. So that's it. So now we hit, Just I'm trying to make it so you can see my whole screen. Okay, hold on. Okay, so. All right, then obviously you hit save and close. So now when someone clicks on this read more button, um, they're able to, when they click on it, it will take them. So you don't want to write all the content here. You want to just give them like a, a little small summary or just some highlight of that blog so they could click the button to go more. And then that's it. Obviously this, you'll do the same thing here. Um, you want to maybe post some old related um, blog posts, so maybe here. So in case whatever, whoever opens your email doesn't like this they could go down here and have other options or you could just delete it simply just delete you know now 
Or, or if you want to do so or add other things to it, just simply drag and drag it in there. So if you wanted to add a bigger image, you could just simply drag it in there and see. And if you don't want it, just hit delete. Um, let's say you want to add, well, it already has a social icons here, so you don't have to mess with those. Um, oh, wait, like, for example, I clicked on this. So all we can do is just replace it with yours. So we go here, I'll I'm going to do this now. So, and save the template so you don't have to do it again or every single time. So I don't, so what I'm doing is, is that in case someone clicks on any of these, they go straight to your, your account. So the cool thing is you only have to do this once. Okay. So, um, let me see what else so we have Pinterest. Let me see if they, if they offer Pinterest. Um, And that's it hit safe but now you know when someone clicks on it um, and I mean honestly that's pretty much it you know once you want to hit save and close um, so we'll go ahead and save and close and then that's pretty much it I mean you could test your email you could test it by sending yourself an email address I mean you click here hit send test and then just check your email for it um, and if it looks good then you move on to the next one. So the next one will, you know, will be to broadcast it. So, all right, so let me see what else. Oh, and they're telling us, to, they're telling us something here. Um, result, let me see. To send your email, remove or replace the placeholder content. To get started, replace the image above the string product photo. All right, so it wants us to do something here. Resolve. And I think it's because we haven't put nothing here. So I don't want to, I don't want to delete this section in case you want to use it. Cause I'm trying to see if here, if, if I see this other one, but I pretty much don't. Um, and I think this is kind of cool. I like how it has both of them. So, I mean, you get the idea. It's pretty much straightforward. And I think once you fix that error message, see, because it tells you, it won't let you send until you s fix this. That's why it's an X. So once you fix it, um, then it'll give you the option to to um, blast it, basically broadcast your email. And then that's it. I mean, you could just finish it later. But I mean, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's pretty straightforward, you know? So, all right, hope that helps.